Hey guys, welcome back to the Illinois Southern Short Line Railroad. It's been a while. Um, I've been busy. When you got twin girls that are seven years old, you that pretty much takes up all the time. So I try to get down here as much as I can. I've made a couple of videos lately of just little action videos, some running uh, a couple trains and a steam engine. So. Uh, but I wanted to do a little short update of what I've been up to. I, not a lot, but uh, there is ha there there has been a little bit that I've done. I put up the fascia, the backboard um, for uh, this little switching section here. Um, I got my tool and die company, the passing siding, a uh, Walters. Uh, grain elevator, little way house there, and a little propane um, dealership or transload place. Uh, I'm going to move it here because uh, where I had it before, I'm probably going to put, I'll just put another industry there. And that's just a little spot where um, one car will go, maybe two, if that. Um, but uh, I put a divider up here um, because it's such it is such a short run to the other side here. Um, excuse the mess, everybody. But yeah, um, little siding comes off here. I got a holding track that turns and a loading track with holds quite a few cars on it, really. And um, I got a couple of things I wanted to show you guys. Um, a friend of mine gave me these uh, hopper cars. Um, there's not a lot of them, but a couple of Union Pacifics and a Southern, a couple of Southerns, and another uh, Rio Grande, and another UP. Um, these are going to go to my rock quarry. I'm not going to patch them or anything. I'm just going to leave them like they are and put uh, rock in them and stuff. And my rock quarry is going to go right there where that um, Walters kid is. It's going to go there. Um, but uh, yeah, that's just a couple of coal cars or rock cars uh, that I have that somebody gave to me, a buddy of mine. But uh, I wanted to show you this too. Um, I posted this on the Facebook page the other day, and this is my uh, sand paper company. Uh, it's uh, two Walther's kits, uh, Red Wing Milling Company, and uh, the uh, concrete unload facility. Um, I'm just using three sides of this uh, this uh, kit here. Um, I got another kit that sh should be in for too long in the mail. Um, I'm gonna f put the roof on, uh, the rest, rest of it, put it on, and uh, it's a background building now. So, um, and I had to raise this awning so the uh, high cube box cars can fit, and um, and the covered hoppers go into here, and the rolls of paper will come in. Uh, be unloaded they'll put the sand on the paper and then it'll go to this building which is another background Walters building but this won't be this exact building I'm gonna get another one and paint it the same color as that and uh, and this is where the finished product gets shipped out and uh, I asked uh, people on Facebook about naming it and uh, a couple people said true grit sandpaper company and I like that because that was an awesome movie um, that John Wayne was uh, in and um, the remake was alright and um, but that's a that's a heck of a name True Grit Sand Company I, I like that and um, but anyway uh, moving to the next section this is a uh, Roseboro Bottoms, 
that I've uh, named it. Uh, the two main lines are right there. And uh, Midwest Fertilizer sits here. And uh, box cars and uh, grain cover or uh, grain hoppers or uh, covered hoppers come in. Um, this is a holding track for uh, the intersection with uh, Mopac, and um, it comes along here. And this is it just goes off the railroad. I'm going to put a blocker up so it doesn't, you know, the cars don't roll down and go off the table. Um, but this is uh, to simulate. Uh, the Mopac line that comes in and uh, if they want they can run to the yard down there or they can just set their cars here on a little siding holding track um, I weeded it up really good I'm not done with it so just bear with me um, and here's my uh, SPS Sands company um, that'll take covered hoppers full of frack sand and uh, a couple new cars I got, uh, cabooses I got uh, the other day is this um, um, Mopac caboose. Uh, it's uh, awesome. It's so detailed. And I remember these going by my, going by my house when I was a kid. And uh, one time there was a train that went by and it stopped, the caboose stopped right behind my house and I, I think I was seven, seven or eight and I got to uh, sit in the caboose, uh, the guy in the caboose told me to come on up and I sat in the this little window here and he gave me a couple of little, little uh, bottles of railroad water and uh, I th thought it was awesome and uh, he told me to get off the caboose because they were about ready to take off and as soon as I stepped foot on the ground uh, the slack gave way and the caboose started moving so uh, I remember that uh, like it was yesterday and um, but I got that one I got this one here and this one and uh, if it hopefully focuses in it's got the old uh, pulley system on the wheels and I've shown you this one before um, this is the first one I got and I patched it and put ISRR number 901 transfer caboose and I put a couple of guys on the end um, just taking a break and relaxing and and uh, I got this car here it's a Illinois Central split rail logo uh, auto rack and I got a couple of IC trucks sitting on top of it I got to get some uh, vehicles for it and, and stuff. But um, yeah, that's that's about it, guys. Um, so far, so good, I guess. And sorry if it takes so uh, forever for me to make a video. Um, you just got to bear with me, and I'll do some more uh, train running videos and stuff. And uh, I appreciate everybody subscribing and and watching my videos. I, I really appreciate it. Um, they're not the best videos in the world, but eventually I'll get a uh, a camera where I can edit and and stuff like that. And but, uh, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I want to show you this one thing too. One more, one more thing. Um, a buddy of mine uh, made this up for me. It's a switch list paper, so I can uh, make switch lists, and it says the Illinois Southern Railroad with the address on it and uh, the president of the railroad is me and then the sales office where the lines uh, stop and start are Redbud, Illinois and Murfreesboro, Illinois and uh, the people that are familiar with the GMNO railroad that was the uh, the roads uh, that that was the towns that the GMNO went through so um, it, it just to simulate the old GMNO main line that uh, really isn't around anymore. Um, neither the tr neither does the tracks go there anymore. Um, so, uh, but anyway, I just wanted to show you that. I thought it was really cool. I just put switch lists on there and what cars I need to switch out and what industries. But um, anyway, guys, that's it. 
Um, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and um, take her easy, guys. Bye.